Coming up next on the J. Rao Show. Buy a company that makes 200, 250, 270, 80 thousand dollars a year. Eh, liar, liar, pants on fire. Tell you this, you know what the outrage is today? Is Barack Obama's taking a 767 campaign plane to go visit Grandma? Forget about the energy that is wasted. What about the hundreds of thousands of dollars to take a private trip when this guy should be humping his bags on on a commercial plane or taking a smaller plane? Take it. The more they talk, the closer they are to defeat. Someone remind me to send this guy a thank you card in a fruit basket. So why did you say it? I mean, uh, I know that he asked oh, I'll tell question, you. I'll, but... t- I'll tell you why I said it. It's because uh, it was um, I was talking about Barack Obama's liberal views, his radical views, and Chris Matthew continued to use the word anti-American, anti-American, anti-American. Oh, sure, blame Chris. She just proved my point. Let's move on. By the way, as of tomorrow, every time Senator Palin repeats one of her standard lies about the bridge to nowhere or the plane she sold on eBay that she didn't sell on eBay or the fired chef she didn't fire, I will donate $100 to charity. Uh, It'll be $300 if she somehow says she sold a chef on eBay. I will also donate 25 fictional cans of Aunt Sarah's canned moose chunk stew to a lucky viewer. My boy Keith, if you didn't catch this on this show, we'll play it in its entirety. Plus, I'll respond to your emails, and plus the J-O-D. T-O! Get your popcorn ready. The j Rouse Show starts now. <laughs> you never know, that's the point. Go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome into another edition of the J. Rouse Show. And of course, you can reach the show with the J. Rouse Show at live.com. The J. Rouse Show at live.com. As you can see, I have my voice back. Thank you so much for all the emails. Wishing me well. Uh, it's still a little raspy, but for the most part, I can make it happen. I am present and accounted for. Uh, you know, I'm watching CNN right now, and, uh, you know, they're promoing this new show for D.L. Hughley. And, you know, what I didn't realize was how ugly D.L. Hughley is. Man, that's an ugly dude. My goodness. And they have the camera all up in his grill. Wow. Ugly. Ba wa wa yippee yo yippee yay. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about today. And, of course, my favorite topic, the Republicans, they are doing everything in their power to throw this election away I mean think about it they spent $150,000 on Sarah Palin's wardrobe okay you have uh, Michelle Bachman still trying to pull her foot out of her mouth and then you have this yo-yo that goes on uh, MSNBC and criticizes Barack Obama for going to see his gravely ill grandmother I mean the Republicans are ridiculous they tried to build Ayers thing their internal polling told them that they were turning independent uh, voters off and they continued to try to come up with garbage you know they preached the small town message Joe the plumber which is aka Samuel Joseph the fake unlicensed plumber okay and by the way did you catch that in the beginning that guy lied he told Barack Obama that he was about to buy a business for over $250,000 or he would be making over $250,000 he lied the more and more he talks the more and more it smells like a plant to me because he lied and of course uh, we played the clip a few shows back when he confessed to Diane Sawyer on uh, ABC's Get More in America that he wasn't even close to earning that kind of cash so if he was trying to buy a business you can't buy a business, you know, you can't buy a very successful business the way he tried to propose uh, the status of the business to Barack Obama in the beginning of this particular show's clip. You can't do it off $45,000 a year. The guy's lying. The more and more, and of course, we expose that guy for who he was. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. But let's get back to Sarah Palin for a second. So now, they preach Walmart mom and you know small towns are the greatest in America and then she goes out and spends $150,000 in less than two months now 
$150,000 for some of the small towns that they visited, I bet you that's their annual budget. And she spent this money, not to mention the per diem. We talked about that the last show. And now we're finding out that uh, she took her kids uh, on uh, business uh, uh, on business trips, which in accordance with Alaska law is illegal if the kids weren't invited. And so I think I, I, I think uh, that it totals anywhere between five thousand and ten thousand dollars. Now I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me on that. But amazing. And so I heard one of the pundits on TV earlier today, or I'm sorry, one of their supporters say, well, I think the Alaskan people wouldn't have a problem with her wanting to take her kids. She's a mother. She should take her kids with her. L listen, I've gone on business trips before, like most of you have. And if you go on a business trip, let's say that you, are, you, go, to, you go to Vegas on a business trip and you want to take your family, your airfare and hotel is paid for you will pay extra money to have your you know your family fly with you you don't take your family with you on business trips when it's not authorized once again that's a common sense fact but they try to justify this when she pulls these stunts it's amazing how they can turn the blind eye when it comes to Sarah Palin and once again Folks, don't be fooled by the style. There needs to be substance. Because if you guys fall for this nonsense, this, once again, will be you in 2012. <laughs> 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 JB, <laughs> she is who she thought she was. And we let off the hook. We had a chance to get a fire, JB. We let off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I that is hilarious so don't, don't let that be you in 2012 and what about the Republicans all of a sudden now they're interested in voter fraud and all this nonsense they are hilarious to me okay all of a sudden the Republicans are worried about this right acorn one guy, he voted, he registered 75 times. Well, let me break it down for you. There's a difference between voter registration fraud and voter fraud. And so what they try to do is they try to go after the least educated uh, voter out there by, you know, making these little windows that, well, wait a minute, if the guy registered uh, 75 times, that means he's going to vote 75 times. It's a huge difference. Don't fall for the smoke and mirrors. But it's funny to me how all of a sudden they're concerned about that. They weren't concerned about that in 2004 when Republican lawyers paid $90,000 to off-duty uh, sheriffs and police officers to stop people from going to the polls. Uh, they weren't concerned about it back then. Or back in 2000 when then Secretary of State of Florida, uh, Catherine Harris, uh, improperly removed uh, 4,000 voters from the voter rolls, not allowing them to vote. Keep in mind, President Bush only won that state by 537 votes. They weren't concerned about that stuff then, but now all of a sudden, they're concerned. And you know why? Because the Republicans feel that they're going to lose, and they're trying to lay the groundwork now for an appeal. I mean, that, that has to be the reason. They think they are going to lose. Matter of fact, uh, they're starting to bicker amongst themselves uh, in the McCain-Palin uh, uh, campaign, within the campaign itself. And there are critics out there uh, who are saying that Sarah Palin is trying to somewhat distance herself from uh, John McCain because she wants to make a run in 2012. God forbid if that happens. Listen, we'll talk more about this during the second set. Keep it right here on the J. Rao Show.